Hello, my name is Kentaro Matsubara, Professor of Law here at the University of Tokyo, and I'll be teaching a course called、uh, Law in Transnational East Asia. What we're doing in this course, really, is to trace the history of how East Asia became East Asia, the somewhat coherent region that we know today. The formation of a legal order will be our primary focus, but the law will be treated in its relationship with politics, economics, and social thought. So it's more of an attempt to reconstruct a rich, interconnected historical process. In doing this, I think I can say the course tries to be three things. First, if you've never studied the modern history of this region in depth, it will provide a foundational narrative around which you can build your body of knowledge that you acquire、uh, in your future studies. It's quite an exciting story, which begins with the world of diverse and complex civilizations, fascinating in themselves. Interrelated in diverse and complex ways, and goes over how these societies changed drastically over the period of the last 200 years or so, reconfigurating their relationship with each other and with the rest of the world, forming what is East Asia today. Secondly,、uh, for those who have already begun exploring the rich history of modernization in East Asia, it's a retelling of the story that challenges conventional approaches. The first conventional approach, known as the Western Impact Model, looks at modern East Asian history in the context of how each society reacted to Western powers attempting to dominate、um, the area through trade and colonization. The second approach has traditionally been presented as an antithesis to the first approach, and in this approach, they emphasize the internal logic of the East Asian societies. And try to avoid explaining their modernization in relation with their relationship with the Western powers. So, what I'll be trying to do here is to focus, on one hand, on the East Asian perspective of how we developed our own transnational order, but on the other hand, look at it in a process of interaction with the West. This means that we're going to try to retell Western history from an East Asian perspective. Thirdly, and finally. This tries to be a cutting-edge law course on transnational law and its relationship with other social, economic, political processes. When I say transnational instead of international law, it means that I'm trying to deal with a legal world where it's not just the nation states that are the primary actors, but also international organisations, multinational corporations, regional alliances, NGOs, and individuals, each pursuing their own ends, influencing various other levels at the same time. Trying to explain such legal processes in relation with not just the notion of economic efficiency, but also the multi-layered phenomena involving international political economy, national identities, and processes of decolonization, is an exciting new project in legal studies. Moreover, this course is to showcase what you might learn if you actually physically came here to the University of Tokyo. In this online course, I'll be involving myself with smaller group discussions. Where I could find out more about what personal interests you may each have, in the hope that this course will be the beginning of a long-term conversation, we might continue, perhaps here in Tokyo, but in any case throughout your own intellectual development. So I greatly look forward to meeting you and to beginning a truly stimulating intellectual journey with you.